have forgotten in our church, Jehovah, we need revival in all these groups. There is something that, Father, we all need to know, dear God, that the reason why you created us is to worship thee in truth and in, in spirit, Jehovah. Therefore, in this morning, mighty Father, I pray that you help us, that we, we fulfill the purpose of thee creating us. We are to worship thee with our, our finances, dear God. We are to worship thee with our families, O oh Father. We are to worship thee with all that we are and all that we have, so that you, you, you bless us, Jehovah. We thank you and we glorify thy name in this morning. Thank you, Jehovah, for even our husbands who are not with us here, wherever they are, dear God, we commit them unto thee, our brothers, our uh, who are not here, our sisters, Jehovah, wherever they are, dear God, we pray for them, Father, that you visit them. We want to remember also the community of believers, wherever they are, dear God, of them who call thee Jesus and Lord, dear God. We pray for them, mighty Redeemer, but God, you are going to encourage them. We need thee, Jehovah, at a time like this. We need thee in this country, mighty Redeemer, even with the campaigning going on and the much talk which is going around, dear God, we need thy people to stand. At a time like this, we pray for them, that Father, you unite us with thy Holy Spirit, that we stand in the gap for our nation, Jehovah. We honor thee and we glorify thy name, the erections are near, and Jehovah, we have nothing to say than call unto thee, that you will see us through the erections, give us readers who are from thee, Jehovah, not the way we think, mighty Redeemer. Bless us, mighty Father, this far we've seen thee. We honor thee and we glorify thy name. We worship thee for our nation. We need Lane's mighty father. There is a lot of problems going on of food. Mighty father provide. There are people who are living without food in some areas, dear God. These are thy children, mighty Jehovah. And therefore we pray that in this nation of Kenya, dear God, that you are going to enable the authorities to reach those areas. No children of thine are going to starve to death, mighty Father. We honor thee and we glorify thee. We ask for thy presence to move with us as we move on. Be God of our, li of our lives. See us through the program. The speaker of thy word, Jehovah, we worship thee for her. We pray for her, mighty Redeemer, that you also enrich her with thy word. Be with us. See us through the program. When we come to the end of it, we still honor thee. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Buona Sifiwe. I now welcome the Vice Chair to come and uh, give us a few announcements. Naomi. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My Bible says that where two or three are gathered, where two or three are gathered, the Holy Spirit is here with us. Jesus is here with us. More than three. Otherwise, the Lord is good. And I thank God for this far. I just want us to just say hi to the neighbor who is near you. Thank you, thank you. We thank God for this far as ladies of this church. And I just want to thank you for coming to this conference today. You know, we're not coming yet because we have been forced, but because the Holy Spirit has spoken to you and given you the will to come and seek the, word, the face of God. Amen? And it is not in vain. Be assured that it is not in vain. When you seek the face of God, surely there's a reward at the end of, it, of this 
journey. Amen. I've got not so much announcements, but I just want to remind us of the, our forthcoming Arambe, your ladies, on the August 14th. Nakumbuke ya Arambe yetu wa mama, August 14th. And uh, on the, mm, let me say this. We, st we were targeting 1,000 from each lady. But if you feel that you can get either 200, 100, be from now to 14th, you can just send your contributions to Margaret Wahu. Margaret, can you stand up? She's Margaret. So that by 14th of August, we are doing this to serve God. That's those plots, we must secure them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen? So you are free to send anything. See, it is lazima ile ile tumesema sawa. Kidogo kidogo tu tafika pale. The other thing I want to encourage us is the monthly contributions. Ile kaso moja tu kila mwezi. Tuchanga mkie yo jambo, tuchukue kama ya maanani sana. Ina tusaidianga sana katu kutukona events kwa church, kama weddings, such things. Eh? Kuhivyo tusisawu yo contribution ya kila mwezi, mia moja tu. Iyo tunamtumia Janet Mwanzia, nafikia metoka kidogo na muna, I, I believe you, you all know her. I've got also another special announcement I'm calling upon us, ladies. Wamama sinjo tunajulikana sana kutishikilia kanyumba ya buwana, nyumba zetu, sindio? Kuna nyumba ya buwana kwa maali, inaitaji simiti, inaitaji vitu nyingi, inaitaji viti, but we volunteered to partner with them in the course of buying some cement for them. Iyo kanisa inaitwa AIC Bethel ikopale malindi. Kanisa enyao kingia malipa ni kanisa tu ndogo, chini ni vumbi. Unamwaga maji ndio mweze kushiriki, mweze kwa abudu. Ukiguza tu kama ukona uwezo, unaza niona. We are planning to send some cement to that church at the end of this month. If you are blessed, just see me and you will be blessed by the Lord. I want to encourage us with a word from the word of God. Kama kuna announcement ni mesau. I want to read the, the word from 1 Corinthians 1 verse 8. The word says this. He will sustain you to the end. Unasikia? Ata mambo yao mangu muaji, uchumu wa mbaya aji, unge ifike to 10. The Lord says, he will sustain you to the end. There is never a moment when the Lord removes his hand from our lives. He will be with you every step of the way. He will hold you so that you can make it all the way. Amen. Amen. Barikweni sana. Sana. To begin, Naomi Makofi. And... Uh, it is now time for presentation by Tim Naomi. Tafadhali mkuje, Tim Naomi. Dio ata muonekane vinyi mmeka smart. Tim Naomi karibuni, it is your time. Thank you. 
Sissi, 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 Mm-hmm. 
Nishale ya moto ili kuizima Nishale ya moto Zaidi ya yote mkita Gao ya imani kwa ushindi Zaidi ya yote mkita Gao ya imani kwa ushindi Ili kuizima nishale ya moto Ili kuizima nishale ya moto They are going places. So, Tim Naomi, thank you so much. It is time for Pastor Dorothy to welcome the speaker for the day. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Wakati wa kumpatia Pastor Salome nafasi aweze kutuongoza kutoka hapo. Na Asante Tim Naomi for reminding us about the full armor, the full armor of God. Na Mungu atusaidie tukiendelea na hii safari lazima tukumbuke the full armor. Kwa fia ya wokofu na the word of God na imani ndani ya Kristo na mahali popote tunaenda tunapeleka the gospel with our feet na Mungu aendelee na kutusaidia na kututenda wema just a minute Our male pastors say they find it not loud enough, but me and Salome we find it convenient when you have it, you, you are okay in using this one. And because it was bought in love by one of the teams, we also feel it is good to use it. Good morning. Don't worry, this is just a small little thing. I find it more comfortable myself. Bwana asifiwe. Unanisikia? Bwana asifiwe. Are you blessed this morning to be in the house of the Lord? Tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya wema na baraka zake. Ametupatia kibali. You are a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. And this morning, God has preserved your life. And remember the Bible says the steps of a faithful man are ordered by the Lord. God has ordered your steps. He has taken care of you. And throughout that week, he has been God. Him ordering your steps, then he delights in you being here this morning. He delights in you seeing you for the first week, the second week of prayer and fasting. God knows you if you are there praying and fasting. Even if you are not fasting, you were praying. Because hiyo ni jukumu yako ya kuwa tunaomba. Unanisikia vizuri? 
Okay, we thank God. Tuombeni Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunakuja mbele zako tukiwa na shukurani kwa sababu umetupatia kibali ya kuwa hai siku ya leo. Ni wewe Mungu tu tunakuhitaji. Tulipofika hapa tulijikabiti mikononi mwako. Na sasa Jehova mimi ninasimama mbele ya watu wako. Jehova siwezi bila wewe. Ni wewe ninakutengemea ninaomba neno lako ikanene na mioyo ya kila mmoja aliyekuja. Na unaponena nasi Jehova, wachilia ukuu wako ndio kila mmoja akaweze kuisi kubarikiwa nawe. Ndio kila mmoja akaweze kuinuliwa katika haja zake. Kila moyo ulie hapa, kila nafsi ilie hapa na atamka kuinuliwa na uguzo upya katika china la Yesu Kristo. Baba Kapa moja nasi tunapoendelea kuzungumza tunapoendelea kujua ukuu wako kupitia kwa maombi tunakuomba ukawe Mungu unayetutangulia wewe ndiye kielelezo chetu kama akina mama tunakushukuru kwa sababu akina mama wamebarikiwa na waliitwa kwa ajili ya kuomba waliitwa kwa sababu ni wa mama ambao washupafu na sasa Bwana tunajikabidhi mkononi mwako tutende mema kama Mungu nani katika china la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini amen 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 feel excited in the house of the lord and because god has brought you here he has brought you expecting and believe you me if you just sit here and want to see god you surely are going to see god he surely is going to visit you and he is going to meet you at the place of your need and this morning this morning our topic is on prayer you all know prayer is very broad we can never finish it we want to i want to be brief so that we can do much praying we need much praying at a time like this i want to remind all of us that prayer can change your situation prayer has the power to change your situation the situation of your family the situation of our nation and the situation of our church so i want you to have that mindset that the god we have come to worship the god that we have come to give our needs to to present our needs to when we go to prayer go with god consciousness being conscious that this god this god who we are following this god who is our model this god jesus portrayed the power of prayer as we will see so prayer will change your situation it can move the heart of god it can move the heart of god prayer can move the heart of god desire that you the number that is here god knows about that number that this number can move the heart of god desire that god is moved because he knows your voice he knows your voice as you call to him what is prayer what is prayer what is prayer prayer is spiritual communication prayer is spiritual communication period it is a way if it is spiritual communication communicating what a way that we communicate our thoughts we communicate our thoughts we communicate our needs we communicate the desires of our hearts to god yes communication with god we communicate our thoughts for us as christian ladies for us as believers it is a way of communicating with the one who created us a way of communicating with the one who created us and who has saved us through Christ Jesus that's a wonderful communication no mother no lady should not communicate to one who created you when we read in john 1:12 john 1:12 which says but as many as received him to them but as many as received him to them 
he gave the right to become children of God. You, lady, you, lady who is seated here, if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, yes, if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your saving, a Savior, that's the first point, very important, very crucial for you. Then, he has given you the right to become his child. You are his child. You are his child. And because you are his child, you have a father. You have a father. And therefore, you can depend on your father. This morning, ladies, we can depend on our father. We can depend on our father. And because he's our father, because he's our father this morning, he desires that we have a healthy relationship with him. When you look in the world, there are relationships even with fathers and children that are not healthy. This morning, I advocate that us as ladies who are in the house this morning, we have a healthy relationship with our creator who has saved us. Because you and me have believed in him. And he has given us the right to be his children. The first thing, believe in him. Without believing in Jesus, we'll be wasting our time. We must have a focus. Are you in a right relationship with God? Are you in a right relationship with God this morning? So that when you begin to call him Abba Father, he will act. He will listen to you. Just the way our earthly fathers will always listen to us. Yes. In communication. There is listening. There is talking. There is obeying. Yes. And there is doing. All those things are in communication. They are all in communication. When we go to our fathers, we tell our fathers, those that are our parents, and we, 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 we give our need, they will listen, they will respond, and they will, they will be able to judge. Is this, is this right for my child at this time? Or do they wait? That is the same thing with our heavenly father. Because we are communicating with him through prayer. How does God talk to us? How does our father speak to us? How does our father speak to us? Our father will speak through the word of God. Through the Bible. Through the Bible, vile huwa wimbo tumeoneshwa hapa. Eh, neno la Mwenyezi Mungu anaongea nasi. This is the manual God has given us. Hakuna jambo ingine. Hakuna kitu ingine tumepewa. The word of God. God will speak to us as ladies through his word and through the Holy Spirit. Because when you become his child, he saves you. He he releases the Holy Spirit to indwell in your life. So, the main, the main idea on prayer is petition. Asking for things. Asking for things for ourselves and for others. Petition. Prayer. Asking for things. Your thoughts. What do you feel like? Asking our Father for things. You will, we will ask ourselves. You may ask this morning, then why pray? Yet the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 6 verse 8, Matthew chapter 6 verse 8, he tells us that 6, 8, B, I'll just read it. Six, Matthew 6, 8, B says, 
Yet your father, your father knoweth what things ye need. Yet your father knoweth what things ye need of before you ask. What am I saying this morning? I am saying, the question is, why pray? Because we, have, we are talking about prayer. We have seen it is communication. But then, the Bible is telling us, our Father in heaven knows. He knows your need. He knows what you are going through right now. He knows what your family is going through. He knows what your, what your challenges are. What my challenges are. Yet, he says he knows. That if he knows, why isn't he acting? Why isn't he releasing? Why isn't he just giving me the answers? Do I have to pray? He knows. He's all-knowing God. He's all-knowing God. Let's open our Bibles, Matthew 7. 7. I want somebody who has a, a Bible app that is opening. Mine has, has refused for one reason. Sorry, I have a challenge, Kidogo. I'm not able to read my small prints in the Bible. But I want us to read that passage. Somebody ule akona, ule kwa, kwa simu, inafunguka. Matthew 7, 7, tufungueni hapo, hapo ndiyo tutasoma. That's where our message is coming from this morning. And as you open, as you read it, let's be God conscious. This is the word of God that is speaking to us this morning. Somebody give me a simu ile ikona, inafunguka. Um, mine, yangu imekata. I'm not able to read from my Bible. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, to Fungueni Matthew 7 7. Bana Sifiwe, are we there? Yes, God is speaking you, to you this morning, not Salome. God is speaking to you this morning. Matthew 7 7. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And, and the one who knocks the door will be opened. Verse 9. Which of you, if your son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a snake. Verse 11. If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask him? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, this morning the Lord is telling us, these are the words of Jesus Christ. Who is our perfect author this morning? Yes, it says that. Yes, ask. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. Jesus explains that our Father in heaven, Jesus explains, is explaining to us this morning that our Father in heaven loves to answer our prayers. He loves to answer our prayers. Are we praying? Are we rising up? Yes. Are we praying? We loves to answer our prayers and give us that which we seek. I got a quote from one of the one of the, a, a miss. A, 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 a person by the name F.B. Mayer, he said the great tragedy, the great tragedy of life is not unanswered prayers. Listen to that. The great tragedy of life is not unanswered prayers, but an offered prayer. Prayer is the greatest gift given to us by our Lord apart from salvation. Prayer is the greatest gift given to us by our Lord. 
apart from salvation. Salvation first, then the greatest prayer. Prayer. Can you imagine if you don't pray, what happens? If you don't pray for your children, what happens? If you don't pray for yourself, what happens? If you don't pray for the ministry, what happens? Jesus expects us. Jesus expects us as ladies this morning who are in the sanctuary to ask the Father. To ask the Father. According to what we have read, there must be action. There must be action here on earth. There must be action amongst ourselves. There must be action amongst ourselves be before heaven moves. God is expecting us to act here on earth. Yes. That's why in Jerusalem there was the call of the wailing women. Women who will leave what they are doing and go to pray, go to wail, go to mourn, go to cry because there is danger in the land. There is danger in our families. Women who will leave what they are doing and follow Jesus. Yes, these are the wailing women. You and me are the wailing women. Don't look for others. You've had the call of prayer to come to the house of God to learn and to encourage each other in prayer. If it is a tragedy not to pray, if that's a gift we are given by God and we are followers of Jesus Christ, what are we doing at pray about prayer? We should have failed here. Ladies are the majority. We come and pray. We come and learn about prayer. We come and encourage each other as we hear the word of God speaking to us. The Holy Ghost is speaking to us this morning. The Holy Ghost is speaking to us this morning because he's the one who is indwelling in us. He's looking for our people who will come out to pray when there's danger in the land. We are going to the elections. We know what happened in the 2007. None of us would want those, those kind of things to be manifested in our land. Who is going to pray? It is you, woman of God. It's you. Who is dedicated into prayer? It's you will continue asking. Yes, prayer. Be dedicated to prayer. Are you dedicated to prayer? Are you dedicated to prayer this morning? Jesus tells his disciples, as we have read, that just like a good father gives good things to his children, just like a good father, a good parent gives good things to his children, so will your heavenly father, so will your heavenly father do so, give you good things. When you sincerely ask, seek, and knock. So we have to keep asking. We have to keep seeking. We have to keep knocking. Yes. Because we have agreed this morning, there has to be action here on earth. There has to be action here on earth for heaven to move in your situation. For heaven to move in the situation of our nation. For heaven to move in the situation of raising our children. And salvaging them from the work of the enemy. 
Something must happen to us. It is us to start it. Can you imagine God in his sovereignty he wants us as human beings to be involved. We cannot do without praying. If, us, if we have to cause heaven to move then we must do something. Why aren't we doing it? Why aren't we doing it? Is it because we are lazy? Is it because we are complacent? Is it because we have gotten tired? Is it because God is not answering? Is it because we are prayed and we are seeing no results? But remember, we have to keep asking. Those are the words of Jesus. Despite him knowing our needs. Despite knowing what we are going through. Despite knowing the period we are in. He still desires that we go to the Father. Then why is it sometimes when we ask, we don't get? Why is it sometimes when we ask, we don't get? It is the desire of the Father to release, to meet our needs, to raise us up, to come through. We are told in James 4, 2, 3, it says that we don't ask because we do not ask because we do not ask or if we ask then we ask it in the wrong motives sometimes we don't get and in James 4 2 and 3 we are told sometimes we, make, we do not ask we just sit we don't ask because Prayer is work. Prayer is work. And because it's work, it's not easy. You must encourage yourself. It is work. So if we ask, we ask with the wrong motives. When we go to pray, as we are going to do it just now, may our motives be right. When God blesses you with finances, May your motives be right. When God blesses you with the desire of your heart, may your motives be right. Because sometimes our motives are to frustrate. Our motives are to turn against other believers. Our motives are pride. Those are not godly. They are not godly. God wants our motives faith. As we check our motives, do we have faith? Yes, do we have faith? Are we believing God to do it? This morning you are here. You have come and we are going to pray. How is your faith positioned with God? We must believe God that that which we ask is going to give us. Are we letting his will to be done? When we pray, do we allow his will to be done in our circumstances? Do we allow his will to prevail over ours? Because God's timing is the best. God's ways are higher than our ways. Therefore, do we allow God's will to be done? Whatever we ask, are we asking in Jesus' name? Because that is the name we are given. That's the name that we are given. There is no other name. This morning I want to encourage us as sisters. We need not be afraid when we go before the Lord. I am sure many of you have experienced the power of answered prayers. You have prayed, you have seen God heal you. You have prayed, you have seen your children delivered. You have prayed in, for your offices. You have seen the hand of God. I, have, I know the power of prayer. I have prayed and I have seen answers to prayers. 
pertaining to my life, pertaining to the time I was working, I would close doors and open doors. And if there was anybody who raised against me to frustrate me because my heavenly father knows the truth of everything, my God would vindicate for me. My God would fight for me. At one time I do remember, my life has been all God in my office for the 35 years I worked in the bank. And I saw God fight for me. I saw God answer prayers. We talk to God like we are talking with your friend. Just the way you talk to your friend. If you have no money, you tell him you have no money. If there is a boss there who is raising against you and wants to sack you, you can go to God and tell him, either I go or he goes. And I have seen God answer those prayers. I have seen God come direct. I had a case of this Muindi boss who wanted me just to leave because he would come and do the wrong filing. He would come and do the filing himself. And after he files and they are wrong, he would accuse me. So it went on for a while and it really nagged me and I felt very bad and I became frustrated because he would accuse me and say, Salome, wewe ujui unafanya nini? Kama ujui kazi yako, wewe enda nyumbani. Sasa nikashanga. Nisha muambia, please, this is my work, let me do it. I got frustrated and because I knew my God, I know God answers prayers, I began to pray. And I told God, God, you know everything. I have not done it. God, you know everything. You know my heart. You know my boss. This is my boss. I respect him. Now I want you to stand in the gap and fight the battle. After about three months, this boss was transferred. He went to another place and I was left there. After about a year, this boss applied the job. He applied the job and he came back. He came back to the same place and he found Salome. But he came with a changed attitude. He came and he was very humble. He came and he was very humble. What am I saying? What am I saying? We may not have much time to share testimonies. But I am before you telling you, God hears prayers and he answers. Make him a friend. Be intimate with God in prayer. Whatever situation it is, he knows you better than your pastor knows you. He knows you better than your friend knows you. And because it pleases the father to listen to you and you have got to action, you have to do it. Ladies, officia wa mama iko na kazi mingi. Inaitaji mama ambaya na si mama na anaomba. Inaitaji mama ambaya naesa kuomba kwa ajili ya mume wake. Hata kama mambo ya endi sawa, wewe, you can pray. God who gives direction will give you direction on how to align that according to God's will. Bwana asifiwe. And you will see victory. You will see victory. I saw God fight for me. I saw God fight for me in many ways. And God kept me for the 35 years. It's not easy working with, wa with Waindis. Wale mshafa nyana Waindi. Sio raisi unafuto asubui na ulipu ipesa. So, when you pray, ladies, wherever you are, pray for your workplace, pray for your bosses, pray for your children, Pray for your spouses and whatever situation is facing you. There is no particular language. Enda kwa mungu, direct. He's your father. He's your father. Address him, tell him. Yes, you know where you are bleeding. You know where you are bleeding. Yes, kimbia ushike upinde wanguwa ya yesu. Ukikimbia ushike upinde wanguwa ya yesu, nae atakuponesha katika china la yesu kristo. He's so faithful, I've seen him faithful. Yes, times when I'm sick, I lay hands on myself. I lay hands on myself. And God heals me. He's our healer this morning. He's your healer this morning. He knows what you are going through. He knows what our daughters are going through. Yes, God is faithful. God is faithful. I assure you, you cannot go wrong with prayer. You cannot go wrong with prayer. As he tells us to seek, have a desire to know him more and more. Mutafute. 
Tafuta, vile tumeimba nimetafuta, nimetafuta, nimezunguka, sijaona mwingine. Wewe mtafute. Ukimtafuta utampata. Kwa sababu kwa maombi ni kumtafuta. Nimewaambia it's work. Maombi sio rahisi. Kama hii ingekuwa ni chama ya pesa tungekuwa tumejaa. Lakini ni kwa sababu ya maombi tuko wachache. Maombi ni kazi. Eh, ni kazi, ni kazi. So, wewe mtafute because you are seeking him. Seek the things of God. Seek him to raise you. Seek him at the word of God. Seek him to lift you. Seek him in your personal issues. Seek him for your family. Seek him for the ministry as we are going to do in a while. May our relationships, ladies, be intimate with God. May our relationships be intimate with God. Let's be intimate with God so we can ask him anything. We can speak and address him in any language that will reach our God. It pleases him to hear your voice. Your voice is not my voice. It pleases him when he hears your voice. Knock! Knock, yes. Continue knocking. Continue knocking. Continue knocking until the one inside opens the door for you. Amen? Continue knocking. Yes, when you knock the one inside will respond. The one inside is Jesus, the Father, and he pleases. He is pleased when you knock. So you must do something. If you sit without knocking, no. Knock. Knock on behalf of school fees. Knock of those doors that are closed. Knock. Many of our children have done interviews. Kumekimia. And I'm trying to imagine until the elections. So I keep telling my daughter, please wait upon the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord, he will renew their strength. Because I have no job, I can give her the same thing for you. It is you to keep knocking. Nobody will knock for you. Nobody is going to knock on your behalf. Knock for your family. Knock for your children. Even as they speak, they seek spouses. Let's knock. And because we are intimate with God, we are talking to Him. We are close to Him. Yes, our relationships are intimate. They must be intimate. They must be intimate. There is no shortcut. There is no shortcut. We cannot live double standard. So, keep knocking until the one inside opens. No wonder the Bible says, man ought always to pray. Luke 18, man ought always to pray without ceasing. Without ceasing. Hakuna wakati tutapumzika, tutaka kwa magoti, nyakati zote. Eh, tuendele kuomba. Katika magoti ndiyo tutapata kuinuliwa. Kwa mama ambao wanampenda mungu. This morning you are in the house of the Lord. Give God no rest. Isaiah 62. Isaiah 62, 6 and 7. Give God no rest. Ame kupatia ruhusa. Give him no rest. As you keep asking, as you keep seeking, as you keep knocking. Yes, until he opens the doors. Yes, until he opens the door. Jesus is our model this morning. He prayed regularly. He prayed regularly. And the episode at the Garden of Gethsemane. We know what happened at the Garden of Gethsemane. He prayed that the cup would bypass. Like he was, his human nature was saying, I wish God you can establish the kingdom of heaven or you can establish the kingdom of God on earth without me participating. But one thing he said, but let your will be done. Let your will be done. The, the, garden of, the, issue, the story of the Garden of Gethsemane is in Matthew 26, 
36 to 56. We will not read because of time. We need to pray. There was a cup of suffering. Yes. Which had to be taken away from him. That story this morning from our Jesus. From our model. From our model on prayer. If he prayed, who are you and me not to pray? Yes, we must pray. The events on the Garden of Gethsemane, they offer support and comfort to all of us as Christians. When we go through difficult situations, we pray. When we go difficult, through difficult situations, we pray. Jesus was having a moment of difficult. He prayed. And God sent angels. The same thing for us. When you pray, when you are going through that up and down in your family, when you cannot share it, God in heaven will answer you. He will send you angels to support you, to encourage you. Wow, what an encouragement from our Savior. What an encouragement from our Savior. When you have challenges, don't give up. Don't give up. Giving up is not for a believer. We have one who is on our side. We have one who is on our side. And an, an, underneath are his everlasting arms. So when painy moments, experiences that are difficult, with the joblessness situations, with issues facing our children, with drug addiction, and many others. In times of need, and those are times of need, we pray to God just like Jesus did. There is this woman in the Bible, this, wo this woman in the Bible called jo Jochebed. Exodus 2. Jochebed, I don't know how you pronounce it, but you know, all the same. Jochebed was the mother of Moses, Aaron and Miriam. In Exodus chapter 2, 1 to 10. This woman, in chapter 2 of Exodus, there was a problem in the land. In Egypt, there was a problem. This woman trusted God. She got a baby. She had a child, Moses. And she stepped out in faith to protect Moses. She stepped out in faith to protect Moses. And she hid him because there was problem in the land. When there are problems in our land, when we see things with the eye of faith, and we realize this needs to, this needs wailing. This needs wailing from ladies who are following Jesus, who will rise up out of their comfort zones and pray. This woman stepped out in faith. You, have, you are here in faith. You have stepped out in the cold in faith. And God saved our son Moses. In that basket on the river Nile, God's hand was manifested and Moses was preserved. And our prayers, this mother's prayer, fueled the children in our family. They were great leaders in Israel, Aaron and Miriam. What am I saying? I'm saying you, lady of God, lady of God, you lady who has left out everything and is following Jesus. And you know that there is prayer which unlocks. There is prayer which unlocks everything. You realize that there is nothing else you can do except prayer. Because prayer is the weapon. Prayer is the only key. The key you are given. To go and unlock. Yes. Jochebed used that key of prayer. And wisdom. And she stepped in faith. To protect our family. She stepped in faith. You and me are going to step out in faith. 
as we go to the throne room and we command heaven, heaven in heaven, to come down for our needs and to raise us up according to those needs that we mentioned. As we do all this, we are fixing our eyes on Jesus. We are fixing our eyes on Jesus. As we pray, our eyes are on Jesus. Yes. Who says, just as we have read, it pleases him when he hears your voice in prayer. In Hebrews 12, I want to read that. That's the last one. As we finish, we go to prayer. In Hebrews 12, Hebrews 12, verse 3, let us fix, I'll just read what I've written. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. Two and three, we must endure. Endure. Because this world is not our own. Our citizenship is in heaven. So as we continue to pray, because God may delay, God may answer you right away, or he may told you to hold on. But as you pray, you begin to understand God more, and you understand your prevailing circumstance. Whatever prevailing circumstance is there. As you pray, God gives you peace so that you can understand your circumstance. As you pray, God opens heaven for you to meet that need. Our prayer this morning, when we go to pray, God grant us an open heaven. So that our nation will have peace. God grant us an open heaven and give us direction. God, yes, that was the attitude that Jesus had. That was the attitude that Jesus had. And then as, we, as, as, as I just finished, what I had written was that, that Jesus endured the cross despising the shame and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And verse 3 says, Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men, so that you will not grow weary and discouraged in your soul. Because as we continue enduring, as we continue enduring, as we pray, because I said prayer is work, as we continue trusting God and believing him by faith, even, even, even if it takes a while, you and me, as a praying woman, you will not grow weary. You will not grow weary. Why? Because he who promises is faithful. He is faithful. He will come through. His delaying is not denial. When you have that mindset, you will not get tired. You will not get tired. Because he tells us, don't worry about everything. You should not be anxious. Because that God knows the number of your hairs. If he knows the number of our hairs, what else doesn't he know about your needs? About the affairs that are there? The Bible reminds us that he is a present help in time of need. That particular time of need. This particular time of need for us to call upon God on behalf of our nation, on behalf of our families. Oh my God, God, as we move here on earth, heaven must move in Jesus' name. Believing, having faith. Oh, the God I know is a God who acts. The God I know is a God who answers prayers. The God I know is a God who is no respecter of person. When those little children of ours pray. Oh God in heaven hears those prayers. It does not matter whether your prayer is long or short. 
The most important thing is know your father. Know who you are committing that need to. And who you are as per that as per that, that uh, as, as, as per that action. As you call to him, you know him. You know him. And for sure if you know him, he will not let you down. He will not put you to shame. He despised shame. God will not put you to shame. I want us to go to a time of prayer because we came to pray. We came to pray. Wow, our time is far gone, but we started late. I want us to pray. And when we go to pray, when we go to pray, we, are, we will go with the scripture in Matthew chapter 18, 18 and 19. Matthew 18, 18 and 19. If two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my father. That agrees to everything. That we must, there must be movement here on earth before heaven moves. And we are going to agree according to the number that we are given by God. If two of us agree on earth, touching on anything, we are going to touch our families. We are going to touch our nation. You touch yourself because God wants to begin with you as a person. As his child, you are his child. He loves you. That it is going to be done in Jesus' name according to his will. Bwana Sifiwe. Uh, I want somebody to help me. We count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we will pray. We are going to pray in, in fours. Very quickly. Very quickly. We want to pray. We want to go into a time of prayer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Please, yeah. Shout, shout, shout. Let's do it quickly because of our time factor. Okay. Number ones. Number ones to Swameni. Number ones, let's stand up. Number ones. This, this corner, number one, quickly, quickly move there, number one. Number one. Jackie. 